The heart is made of four chambers. The top chambers are called the atria, and the bottom chambers are called the ventricles. The top chambers, or the atria, pump blood to the bottom chambers, the ventricles. The ventricles then pump blood out of the heart. As indicated by the color of the arrows, the right side of the heart handles deoxygenated blood, and the left side of the heart handles oxygenated blood. Blood flow starts as deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium from the superior and inferior vena cava. While the superior vena cava carries blood from the head, neck, arms, and chest, the inferior vena cava is carrying deoxygenated blood from the legs, feet, and organs in the abdomen and pelvis. After blood passively enters the right atrium, it is pumped down to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle then pumps the deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery then carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs to be oxygenated. Remember, arteries carry blood away from the heart, while veins carry blood toward the heart, regardless of whether that blood is oxygenated or not. After blood travels to the lungs and becomes oxygenated, it passively travels to the left atrium, through the pulmonary veins. The left atrium then pumps the blood through the bicuspid valve, also known as the mitral valve, to the left ventricle. The left ventricle then pumps blood through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta, which then carries blood to the rest of the body. As the blood travels through the body, it supplies oxygen to the cells and becomes deoxygenated. It then passively makes its way to the superior and inferior vena cava, where the cycle begins again. Here's a final look at the flow of blood through the heart. If you found value in this video, make sure to give it a like, and make sure to visit and subscribe to our channel.